my point where I address the media, and I, it concerned me you now, we, we are out to lock up many a times, and that's not really my concern, because the credit commissioner said, he want to bring pressure, he could bring pressure, but no one intervene with childs. And I got video footage. A police station was inaugurated a week ago in Santa Elena to address the crime situation in that town. Minor Galinda says he has spent 48 hours behind bars, including within the new police station, at least 20 times over the course of the last three months. Police accused Galindo, his brothers, and other family members of being members of a gang. Minor Galinda refutes those claims, though his main concern today was the children that live on the family property. When you start intervening, the child is 8 years old, 9 years old, for caring, actually caring back at the house, for the asking certain things, and the kids are traumatized, now he gone too far. News 5 has obtained surveillance footage of an operation this morning. What we have been able to gather does not show much by way of abuse of authority. But the family contends that is because the officers disconnected their cameras and demanded that they do not record on their phones. There is one instance captured on camera that was brought to our attention. A senior officer from the Santa Elena Formation was captured confronting another officer that was with the team. This happened while several individuals from the property were detained in the back of a police mobile. Galinda's account is that the second in command was confronting the next officer over the ill treatment of the minors in the yard. That happened this morning. Uh, the, the exactly about around nine this morning. All the way to sleep in our, in our home. In our home. Even the kids. Even the kids. Come knock down this, knock down that. Wake up, we everything, nothing wrong. And like, like I said, nothing wrong for making them do the, the operation. Nothing wrong for making them do the patrol. One shop it one here, I don't know. When they say anything, all of a sudden, the GI trigger, he won't have a Right? No, I don't talk bad about them, right? Right? I don't talk bad about them because they got a job for them. But now, he didn't make it a business for dealing with the picnic. Even when they check up the legal, and when they try to do the legal certain thing, even the, the I don't know if I the CEO, but they're not Franco, they one after Franco, right? They one after Franco. Even then, come out of the yard, can I notice that, no, you're a message. And I know I leave boy, now I leave girl. I have to ask, if these children are being used any at all to carry out any sort of illicit act, because they could be viewed as innocent. Me personally, I quite tell them, right? I know I had a minor girl in there, right? And I know you have about me, right? If you don't have any concern, if you don't want to deal me, deal me. If you don't want to send me to jail for my SOE, send me to jail for my SOE. If you don't want to send me to a gang charge, send me. But you know, please stop harass my family. I know they live my loveless life. Twenty years over this. Step. I don't live that the police. The police don't live that me. Mm. Man, I don't know a year and I. And I know that I'm a better policeman than what I say. Let's go. And I jump where this one. And I jump and I try hold the hand. And the next one they look, grab me in on my shoulder. Brother. Then the things are totally wrong in my yard. Friend. Leave the child alone. Then the future tomorrow. We also heard from Mayor Earl Trapp, who, following the spike in major crimes within the Twin Towns in late June, supported the deployment of police reinforcement. Today he told us that he is not aware of all the details pertaining to the incident, but that while officers are necessary to uphold the law, children must be protected. When we are um, advocating for safety, for security, for a safer municipality, we need the police to uphold the law. But at the same time, I believe that the police have been trained and they must provide a service with principles. You know, so we must understand that adults are adults and minors are minors. So there is a law and we must protect our children. 
Reporting for News 5, I am Paul Lopez.